Hey everyone, Mike Burke here with InsideRealEstatePhotography.com and in this video we're going to go over how to do speed ramp zoom transitions for your real estate videos. So you probably have seen these speed ramp zoom transitions in a lot of real estate videos lately. It's sort of a trending thing right now. So I thought it would be a good topic for a video here on the channel. So I don't want to take up too much of your time. Let's dive straight in and I'll show you how to achieve this effect. Before we continue on with this video, I just want to share a quick word about our sponsor PixelMob. Are you looking for a professional real estate photo editor to help lighten your workload? Are you having a hard time finding a good and reliable editor or don't even know where to look for one? Or maybe you just personally struggle with editing and can't seem to achieve the professional end result that you've been looking for? If any of this sounds like you, you should definitely check out PixelMob. PixelMob helps take the guesswork out of finding a reputable editor and connects you with the right people to do the job. PixelMob is an awesome website that links you up with available editors capable of doing just about any sort of real estate photo editing you can imagine, including HDR blending, flambient, virtual staging, object removal, etc. The best part of all is that PixelMob vets all the editors prior to allowing them onto their platform to ensure that they can indeed deliver on what they say they can. I also really like that there's a peer review system where photographers can rate the editors from one to five stars, giving you further tools and helping you choose the best editor to work with for your particular job. The editor also does not get paid until you are satisfied with your order. If you've ever been in the search for an editor and tried a few out, then you know full well there's been a, such a sore need for something like PixelMob in our industry, and I really think a lot of us real estate photographers can benefit from this service. It's completely free to sign up, and if you use my link, pixelmob.com IREP, you will receive $5 in credit towards your first order, so there's no reason to at least not give it a try. You'll also find that link down in the description of this video. All right guys, so here we are in Adobe Premiere, and I already have the clips here. This is already the finished one here. You can take a look at this. So that's basically the effect that we're trying to achieve here. So I have the same two clips over here and I'm just gonna recreate what I did over here and show you how it's done. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is create the speed ramp. This is just going in one you know, speed right now and same with this clip. So to do that, if we have this clip highlighted, if we just right click or control click on here and go to, down to show clip keyframes and go to time remapping speed. So now we have this speed line here that we can adjust how fast and slow the clip goes. So. We want the clip to be, you know, regular speed and then, you know, speed up here at the transition. And we want this clip to be sped up in the beginning and slow back down to regular speed. So it's just ramping up here and ramping back down here and slowing back down. So to achieve that, we just have to pick the point here in the clip that we want it to start speeding up. So, you know, somewhere around here, I would say. So I'm just gonna hold the command key. I guess it would be the control key on a PC, which you'll get that little plus icon there. And if you click, it'll set a point. And now if you hover over this line, you'll see the little up and down arrow. So we can adjust the speed now of this clip. So we wanna bring the speed up a lot, like around like 1000, 2000, even like, let's see what like around 2000 is like. So now if we play this, it's going really fast at the end there but the problem is it's just jumping straight to 2000% speed from regular speed. So it's just a big jump. So to ramp this up, which is why it's called a speed ramp, if you grab this little handle here and you drag it to the right, you'll see we're creating this ramp here. So I'm gonna drag it a little bit further. And then what I also like to do, if you select that handle again, you'll see this little handle in the middle. If you click on this and drag it to the right, you'll see now it's just easing the curve here. So now it's just easing into the speed and easing out. This just makes it a little more graceful looking when it speeds up and slows back down. So now if we play it, you'll notice that it has that much more graceful speed up now instead of just jumping straight to 2000% speed. That might not even be enough. I'm gonna increase it even more, 3000, yeah, something like that. So we do want it to be pretty fast for this effect to look convincing. Now, if I move the drone clip over here, now let's deal with this clip and speed it up in the beginning and ramp that down. So again, I'm gonna control click on this or right click, go down to show clip keyframes and time remapping speed. So now we just wanna pick the point here where we want this clip to slow down. So, you know, somewhere around here is fine, I think. Now, again, if I hover over this line, you'll see the up and down arrows and I can just speed this clip up. So I'm gonna speed this up to like, We'll see what it looks like at around, 
you know, 1600. And again, I just want to ramp this down and you can grab this and move this around. You can fully adjust this. If it doesn't look right, let's see. So that's actually looking pretty good. I just again want to smooth this out a little bit. So I'm just going to drag these handle to the left now instead of the right. So we can get this nice gradual curve here. So now what I like to do is add a little motion blur to this to help sell the effect a little bit better. As you can see on this original clip, if I you know pause it here, you can see the blur there. It's just blurry. It's a motion blur going on here. So that's what we want to do with this clip. So in order to do that, I'm just going to go down here in our you know project bin here and go to this icon and you'll see adjustment layer. So just click on that and that will give us an adjustment layer. So we can actually just put that on top of this clip and I'm just going to grab another one and put it on top of this clip. So you could apply the effect directly to the clips here, but I find that something weird happens when you do that. It doesn't really come out right. Maybe it has something to do with the speed ramp or something. It just doesn't work right. So I suggest using an adjustment layer. It comes out much better. So the effect we want to apply here is called transform. So if you go to the effects panel and here, if we just type in transform, you'll see distort transform here. So I'm just going to take this and put it on to this adjustment layer and also to this one. All right, great. Now we have the effect applied to the adjustment layer. So if we select the adjustment layer and we come over here, we'll see transform is now in the effect controls. So in order for this motion blur effect to work, you need to apply some motion here by animating some parameter of this, whether it's position or scale. In this case, we're just going to do scale. So I'm just going to type 150 here for the scale. So it's going to zoom in on our clip here, which isn't exactly ideal. It's not something we want to have to be able to do, but it is just necessary for this effect. So just keep that in mind when you're shooting, you know, a lot of the times this effect is used to like zoom out of the house, like in this example to a drone shot, for instance, that's a typical usage or zooming into a house, you know, from a drone shot or something like that. So when you're shooting those shots on site, just keep that in mind and try to shoot extra wide. So you have a little bit of room to zoom in on it. So now what we want to do is animate this down. So it's zooming out from 150 down to back to hundred. So if I go back here to the speed ramp and zoom in here, so we want this to start right around where the speed ramp starts. So I'm just going to go back here to scale and hit the stopwatch and set a keyframe here. I'm just going to trim this a little bit, but we're going to end up trimming this middle part even more. So I just want to go to about there right after the speed ramp ends. I'm just going to set another point here and just put hundred in here. So now if I zoom in, you can see we have these two points here. And if I play this back now, you can see it's zooming out while it's speeding up. And what we want to do here also, lastly, is I want to uncheck use composition shutter and then shutter angle. I want to put in 360. So you can see now it's adding the motion blur as it zooms out. So that's cool. Now we just have to do the same thing on the other side. So, so right here at the beginning of the clip, we want it to start at 150 and go back down to 100. So we're doing the you know opposite way here. So I want to put this at 150 here, scale on the transform effect. And again, I want to set a keyframe here. Don't forget to set the keyframe. And now I just want to go to the end of the speed ramp, which ends right here. So now I just want to put 100 in here. So now it's zooming out as it ramps down. Again, we want to uncheck use composition shutter and use shutter angle 360. So now if you look, you can see that blur happening there. So now if we play this back, it's adding that blur into it. And that's more or less the whole effect here. The last thing I want to do here is just, I'm just going to go right before this speed ramp ends here. I'm just going to make a cut and then again, right Right after that speed ramp, I'm going to make a cut and then I'm just going to delete this middle bit here. So now it's just sort of a smooth ramp here going up and down without that middle pause. So it just should make it look a little bit smoother here. So let's play that back now. Perfect. So now it looks perfectly smooth. It's taking out that little awkward middle bit there. The last thing I like to do to help sell this effect, if I go back to my project bin, I have this little sound effect here. It's just a whoosh. Sounds like that. So you don't want to go too overboard with the sound effect. You don't want it to be too loud in the mix. I usually bring the sound level of it down significantly just so you can audibly hear it over the music slightly. So it just helps sell this effect. So I'm just going to drag this into the timeline and I'm just going to kind of line up 
the waveform here with this effect right where it's ramping up. And I'll bring the level of it down, like I said. You can just drag this line up and down and bring the level down. That little whoosh sound, I think, really enhances the effect and brings it to life. All right, guys, so that was a quick tutorial here today, but that's how I do my speed ramp zoom transitions for my real estate videos. Again, I thought this was a topic worth covering here on the channel since this is such a popular thing nowadays in real estate videos. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I really appreciate the support. Also take a look down in the description below. I got links down there to gear recommendations. The sponsor of this video, Pixelmob, if you're looking for a real estate photo editor, great resource. Also, I got links down there to a sky replacement pack that I've created. Also editing practice packs, a lot of good stuff down there. So take a look. Thanks again so much for watching this video and I'll see you again soon on the next one.